week 24 and the shed has arrived um, so here it is a bit bigger than I think we both thought it was going to be so uh, yeah it's nice it's going to be painted the same colour as the other one show you it's got a nice little window on the side yeah. but it's quite nice quality um, you can sort of feel it and there's a few little things that they've done so let's sit inside yeah you can so yeah it even has a nice little shelf Steve started to put some stuff in it already <laughs> but yeah no it's nice it's uh, yeah proper glass and things in there as well but um, we're thinking we might sort of yeah you make sure we utilise the space really well so yeah we're really pleased with it and uh, yeah they came and constructed it and Luckily, I think the weather held out while they were here, but um, yeah, we're really pleased with it. We've still got a bit of a gap between them, so we can get down there if we need to for anything. But um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> so this is me just starting to paint the shed. Um, and then Steve is building a trench to put the sleepers in to, as a little retaining wall. There it is with the, the first coat on the whole lot. And then we had a bar, um, just had a dinner outside um, on Saturday night, so that was nice. And then this is um, the sleepers, some of them gone in. This is what was, um, Steve was doing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just had a little glass of wine and sat in the sun last night, it was lovely. And then this is what he's completed on Sunday. Um, so he's got waterproof membrane there on the back. Um, concrete, he's put a bit, other bits and pieces in there just to make it stronger and there it's done and he's raking in the soil. Imogen uh, made friends with a little butterfly which is really cute and it and it walked onto her finger so she got to hold it for a while. Sophia got to see it as well. So it's the end of week 24 and um, this is what we've done. Um, so Steve has built a um, bit more of a sleeper sort of um, to retain some of the soil there in that corner and you can see the pots on it we put those there really to stop the children going near the edge we will actually have some bushes and things planted in there so that will stop them in future but that that's just for now um, I'll take you down there so you can see it a bit better but the garden is actually starting to look a bit more like a garden not so much like a building site um, so if I come down here you can see what he's done with his sleepers um, so he's done this lovely curved edge with them. She painted the same colour as the um, pergola. And um, yeah, they're set into concrete. And behind that is um, some weatherproof membrane. And um, he's painted both sides. Um, and then there's concrete holding them at the bottom. Um, so there, it should be, hopefully they'll last a long time because we've done all this sort of weatherproofing on them. Um, but of course it is wood, so it won't last forever. Um, but that's uh, quite nice and it's starting to sort of take shape and it, it meets nicely with the wall. Um, we've put a bit of fake grass that Steve has some off cuts left over from jobs that we had at our old house. We used to have it under the kids play equipment. So we just made a little area for them just until we get the it properly, um, proper fake grass sort of cut to size, which Steve will fit in, you know, in the next few weeks. Um, we just put these these patches down, so they've now got somewhere to play. Um, so they had their water, ta sand ta water and sand table out today, and they were playing out in the sun. It was really lovely. And I um, painted the uh, shed, so it now matches with the summer house. So I see my reflection in my dressing gown. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the shed now. So it's all painted all the way round. It was quite fiddly because, um, as you can see, there's this bit here that I can paint too easily, but the bits down here underneath, under this side here, was quite hard to get to because it's quite narrow to get your paintbrush down there and things. But I used a sponge, a kitchen sponge in the end, uh, to get in there because I just couldn't get the angle with the paintbrush. But I'm really pleased how it's turned out. Um, I think um, it's come along really nicely. Um, and it matches in, obviously, perfectly with the shed because it's got the same... Um, paint on it but we've also got both of them got a grey roof and it's quite nice they've got the same little detail as well on the on the ends which is quite nice they're the little diamond on the end um but yeah we're really pleased with how it's all turned out and 
yeah this is really looking nice so the next job now I think is stairs the stairs coming down here I'll take you up and you can just see those a bit clearer because um, I haven't showed you those um, in a video I've showed you I did put a picture of them when they're on the back of Steve's trailer but I'll show you them properly here here they are so they've got this lovely rounded edge on the side that will come out and then this is the big slab that will be between each step the the rise um, so we have a few of those I think Steve's got seven steps in total but I'm really pleased with those they're really nice so um, yeah I'm really pleased with how it's come along and I think it looks really good all right bye